Hi, I'm Elliot from the HachiSoft mobile apps team, and this is a quick start tour of the Baseball Bullpen app for Android. When the app first opens, you'll see buttons that start a new pitching workout, resume a pitching workout in progress, estimate pitch speed, and display team statistics. Let's go ahead and start a new workout. The app knows that we don't have a pitcher yet, and so suggests that we add one. I'll add a new pitcher to the bullpen, my brother Matt. The pitching distance option is used in calculating pitch speed. You can use a standard distance from this list, or you can use the guide me button to find the distance for your sport and league. There are other options on the page, but we'll leave these with their default values for now. If you want to know more about an option, you can tap the info icon above it. We can now tap next to finish adding Matt. Now that we have a pitcher, we start a new workout. A pitching workout is a named log of pitches. It can represent a regular pitching practice or even a live game. Here we will again stick with the defaults. Once confirmed, the workout is added, and we're taken to its summary page. On the screen we see our strike zone, and eventually any logged pitches. Now it's important to note that this app does not automatically log pitches. Instead, it's a tool to quickly enter pitch data. As such, a standard workout will typically involve two or more people. Matt, our pitcher, will be on the mound and throwing to a catcher. I will be the pitch logger and will be entering each pitch as it is thrown. Although it's possible to have a pitcher log their own pitches, this can interrupt the pitching flow. Instead, we recommend that a coach, parent, or friend log the pitches of a workout and let the pitcher focus on pitching. The blue and white instructions give us a hint on how to proceed. Tapping the plus will start pitch logging, but we can also just tap anywhere on the screen to do the same. The next screen we see depends on our preferences. By default, we estimate pitch speed first and other details later. Up in the top right, we see who is pitching, how far they're throwing, and the release distance. Then we simply tap the start button once as the pitcher releases the ball, and again as it hits the catcher's mitt, like this. Release, catch. On this screen I can log what kind of pitch Matt threw and where it hit. The standard pitch types can be selected via these buttons, curveball, slider, etc. But I can tell that that was a changeup. The detail display shows me all we know about the pitch so far, including the pitch speed and type. To indicate the pitch location, I have two options. I can just tap with a pitch hit, or I can touch and drag. As I drag, the pitch details update. That way I can make sure the app registers a ball as a ball and a strike as a strike. When I pick up my finger, the location is saved, and we are on to the next step. On this page, we can review the pending pitch details and ensure they are correct. The pitch count display helps us track and limit the number of pitches for the workout. The plus one refers to the fact that until we confirm the pitch, it isn't actually added. So, if everything looks right, we can confirm the pitch via the check or just tap anywhere. And now we're back to estimating the speed of a new pitch. If we mess up our taps and get an unlikely speed, we can go back and either fix it manually or clear it entirely. This time, uh, let's say Matt threw a fastball high and inside. In the review, I realized that I messed up again and forgot to update the pitch type to fastball. The good news is that you can fix any pitch data right up until it's been confirmed. So I push the back button, set the type to fastball, and adjust the location just a bit. And now that looks right, I apply it. 
We can continue to add pitches for as long as we like, but when we're done we can tap the Summary button to leave the Pitch Capture mode. And now we're back to the Workout Summary page where we can see all of the pitches logged for the workout along with updated pitch counts. From there we can tap the Stats button to view and share workout statistics, or we can touch the Hardware Back button to exit out to the main screen. And with that, we conclude our quick tour. Thanks for watching.